Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Honor Band 6. The uh, Chinese version primarily does Chinese English, does the AliExpress kind of stuff for payment in China, but only in China. Only a Chinese manual. But wow, wow, what this thing can do. I got to show it to you. It's really pretty amazing. First of all, comes in this nice little box, inside of a box, manual and cover, and it's coming to us from our latest partner, Why We We Buying, W-I-I Buying. We Buying is uh, sponsoring us with the Honor Band 6. It's a 1.47 inch AMOLED touchscreen, very bright. It's really something outside. It is so easy to see this thing. When you got that thing cranked up, amazing uh decent price about 55 to 60 dollars i should have a coupon for you so check the show notes for a clickable link over to this page and a coupon to get a discount in terms of what all it's got inside of it here's the um the spec sheet you've of course got your heart rate and uh blood oxygen and all of those things are here tethers to the huawei sport health app which is pretty interesting we'll take another look at that one it's um waterproof with five atmosphere look at that five atm which means you definitely can swim with it it's got call reminders and the basic reject calls but you're not doing bluetooth calling with it you can't really answer calls on on this one it's a sports fitness band actually uh all these different things are supported you've got um Wow, look at that. Initial screening for atrial fibrillation is part of this. Yeah, it's got a pretty sophisticated uh, process in the app that can pull the data that it collects from the device and give you some overall suggestions. Music control, alarms. It's got a flashlight built into it even as well. And again, uh, it's an AMOLED 1.47 inch screen with, and get this, about 10 to 14 days usage time. And I can attest to that being true. In fact, somewhere it said that five minutes charge will get you two days of battery life. <laughs> I said, no way. Well, we might be able to test that out today because I have not charged it since I put it on well over a week and a half ago. And it still has 27% power. Yeah, I just left it on. Put it back in the box for you. Here's one of the of the screens. Just really sweet. Uh, let's finish things up. I can't really show you a lot with the manual because there's not an English version. But in case you want to do your Google Translate, here it is. There are some QR codes, but I really recommend you download the app from the Google Play Store, either directly, Huawei Health, or... Um, with the link I've got in the show notes, I always put the link to the tethering app down there. A little bit more information, and that's pretty much it for the manual. I presume they'll have an English manual later on, but for right now, like I said, this is pretty much the Chinese version of this. Inside here, you've got the charging wire, and that's everything. Uh, it's an interesting little charging wire. It's two pins separated pretty far apart, almost like the European plug, right, that you plug in the wall. And you got to get it right. And when you do, yeah, it hooks in there, and it's good and strong to hold it, give you a good charge. We'll check this out in just a minute, 27%. Uh, I'm going to put it on for a five-minute charge, and we'll look at how much you get. Isn't it supposedly going to be two days worth of, of, of life? Wow, look at that. It was picking up my heart rate, just barely touching it right up there. Really nice. Okay, I'm going to walk through it for you. I swipe down. Here's your basic layout stuff. You can go into a do not disturb, and then it won't light up at night when you're sleeping. You've got the... Um, screen on for five minutes if you want to like leave it on and use it you can do that and you can turn that off and you can set some of that stuff in the uh oh cool i'm here really where are you i'm here hide and seek i see you i'm here okay can we finish with that? <laughs> I did not expect it to do that. I went into workout when you press the button. Anyway, okay. There's that fine 
<laughs> oh, you guys could have so much fun with that. That is all, of course, built into the app. The app needs to be tethered to the watch. And when it is, you can find it. You can set alarms. Whew, I got to stop talking. You can go into here, which is your overall settings, where you can change the vibration level, uh, which I've set for strong. I like to really be able to feel it. Do not disturb. Uh, like up at the above, there's your workout uh, overall setting system. You got help and an and about area that tells you your device name. So you'll be looking for Honor Band 6 when you uh, hook it up and tether it. Let's look at system. Here I could do a restart and a power off and, def and, and basically completely reset the watch as well. So simple stuff there. Workout settings. It's got the ability to do auto detect. So when just wearing it, it can go in and tell whether you're walking or swimming, I guess, or whatever. And you can activate that and it will... Uh, let you know and remind you to start and end workouts when it detects a change in your activity intensity. So it'll know when you finally got up and went to the water cooler. Cool. Um, out of settings, we're back here, and I think that covers everything here. Go this way, and I've got my step count on the watch, which, of course, I've been wearing it today. The music player that'll play the music on your uh, phone on your phone there's no bluetooth connection for playing it there's no speaker or any of that in this band and there's the alipay this is a payment system that works only inside of china uh, but it's on the watch it's a card that you can add to it if you want to and scroll over and you're going to get your temperature in your location which is identified at the top of the watch scroll over again and now i've got my heart rate in a chart so i've been wearing it all morning this is on a 24-hour period my high my low my average all of that is showing up on here scroll it again and i'm back to the watch face and of course i can get to the same thing looping going this direction swipe up and here you go uh, for getting notifications sent from your phone through the app that you uh, give permission and of course it's readable easy to see and very uh, very usable as far as brightness now I want to come in here to display we can show you some watch faces you got some favorites here's brightness this is on its lowest level so when I crank this thing up seriously bright and we get back here to the watch faces it basically blooms it out and look at the angles you can see with this this under bright sunlight is easily readable i uh, really really love this watch for that that's partly why i've worn it now for well over a week which i'll be showing you in the app okay uh, i can press and hold to get into the watch face change i can bring up a couple of other ones this is a nice one showing you kind of your progress chart um, You've got more. There's a classic one. Here's a really big boxed one. You get your temperature and weather conditions, step count, date, heart rate. Those kind of things are, are, are in there. Each of them has a, a new stake to claim that's kind of fun. Here's a different one, refreshing it's called. You get all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm getting my heart rate 87 right now, 84 degrees outside, and so forth. Okay, in purple, I'll put this thing on on that one so you can see what it looks like on too. Very easy to use band, uh, pretty much sweat proof, and of course it's a waterproof watch. Twist your wrist works, and it's just too darn bright. I got to go in here and tone it down a bit. Brightness to one. All right, we'll make it two just so you get a little bit of, of brightness on there, but plenty, plenty. Here's favorites, and this is where you can change the order of the things that you're going to see or take them off when you rotate around. So uh, if you don't look at your activity records, and of course we don't need Ollie Pay here, so I'll take that off and that'll be gone. Here's the watch faces, but we got to them already from pressing and holding brightness, and then there's an advanced section where you can have uh, your sleep time set for when the watch will go off after you turn it on for as low as 10 seconds and up to 20, or you can set it for auto. I guess it figures it out on its own that way. And then your screen time on minimum five minutes, and you can go all the way up to 20 minutes if you want to. And you still have seriously long life on this watch. It's really, really cool. All right, let's take 20 minutes. It says it's going to shorten your battery, but we won't be here that long. Okay.
that's everything in the settings for uh, display. Vibration is simple. The do not disturb the workout. We did all of that stuff. You've got to help and about your watch. So that's the watch. Now let me show you what we can do with the app. Here we are in the Google Play Store. The app is called Huawei Health. When you come into the Play Store, you see you can take a look at a little bit about it. It's Huawei Health 10.0, this version. It talks about less clutter. You have a, an ability to do runs and walks. And what's really nice is it integrates the GPS in your phone with the sensors, like your heart rate and everything, in the watch and brings it all together in the app. You have dark mode, which happens to be how this is set up. So we might get some reflections today. Sorry about that. Here's the regular uh, display. And it basically organizes these cards for you in here that you can rearrange if you want to. Packed with features, it says, and so forth. So we're going to access this by going open. Here's the opening page. I didn't really need to go through and set up an account and log in and do all of that crazy kind of stuff. Scan and add cards and stuff. I, this is my main hit landing page. I've got uh, my step count basic information here when I get into it. Hello? There we go. Um, when during the day it accumulated all of that stuff and on what particular day and your overall total duration of minutes in all these different activities. That's all in here. Um, moderate to high intensity and so forth. The exercise records. This is fun. This is here and it's also in a center tab down below and you can drill down in here and see like here I am walking around a local shopping center and uh, it's a Google Maps in dark uh, in the nighttime mode like this. You get your actual trajectory and your distance traveled. I think it puts a marker at every mile. How long your pace and your calories. You get charts like your heart rate chart showing you the time you're in the different zones and whatnot. Your pace and when you're moving and not moving. Your cadence. All of that kind of stuff is available for your walks, but you got stuff for cycling and other activities as well. That's all in here. Heart rate now. This is the continuous heart rate thing. And what's really fun is I can jump over anytime and anywhere I want to the exact moment and what that heart rate was there. I don't really have the sliding and pinching capability, but I do have access to look at that. I can see on a weekly basis what it's like. And of course, I can go back uh, on any previous day, which like I said, I have been wearing this puppy since, well, since when? Let's see. I put it on midday on June 17th, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. 324 17th to the 24th and it's still got juice in it like 25 percent or so so yeah it's long long life uh band resting heart rate is computed for this all that's there as well then you've got uh your last night's sleep time and it does a pretty decent job of this and it gives you a discussion down at the bottom for each night and shows you your distribution uh, deep, light, REM sleep. Look at this. Sleep continuously, the points that you get, awake time, breath quality. Are you seeing all of that? This is one of the best bands. If you don't want to do exercise or anything, but you really are working on your sleep, this is a good one. Swipe it back. Here, total seven hours, eight minutes the day before. Swipe it back. 822. Again, I'm getting information that's unique to that particular day. You woke up two times last night. Tells me a little bit about that. Has the same old breakdown down here. Uh, very, very nice. Really, really nice. I'm very impressed with this. Um, then you got weight. If you want to put your weight in, you have to enter these as individual data points. So that's a card for that. And then you got this stress thing going on too. It's monitoring your stress in these increments. I'm at 40, which is normal, of a range of 18 to 62. And you can see some of them are in the yellow. Some of them are uh, in this green teal color that shows you the uh, stress levels. And day by day, my overall level for the day, I guess. Or no, that's that particular one. Okay, that's jumping around. There's your average. Uh, 
and and that's about it for stress but it is showing you what percentage of time you're spending in different stress zones so again if you're working at reducing your stress helping improve your sleep quality this is a band that does that blood oxygen is really really lean not happy yet with their implementation on this there's nothing in the chart it only records when you actually take a reading and I haven't been so there was a reading if I could hit it just right right there 95 percent one reading on that particular day uh, so I'm hoping there's going to be some firmware updates that's going to allow you to do continuous blood oxygen reading but for right now it's kind of tacked on to the device it's not really um, present as the same way that stress or heart rate are continuously monitored that's it for the cards here then you go into your exercise you've got indoor run kind of thing and then you've also got uh outdoor runs and walks and when you slide over you get into the trajectory of where you are located and a few tap on here you can get into the different activities uh, and we just showed you the shopping center one that I walked around in uh, there's walking and these are all separated cycling is in a different section it says it's connected here it is and it's got this information available for you there's your overall step count power level health monitoring where you can set up if you want the Huawei true sleep in activated the activity monitoring continuous heart rate can be enabled automatic stress test no blood oxygen automatic that I hope we'll see uh, not really a big deal um, because blood oxygen normally bounces around up in 95 to 100 and you'll know <laughs> if you if it's low uh, so not nearly as uh, critical I would say as being able to monitor some of the other stuff help alarms weather reports uh, you can set up where you want that you can enable notifications from your phone if you want to and then there's your overall device settings that you can do either on the watch or here you can restore factory you can do firmware updates all of that is here on the device and then in the me is basically where you set up your own profile whether you're female or male this is all the default stuff in there but you have to put that in pretty much correctly if you want to get good results in your calories burned and that kind of stuff settings you've got goals you've got data sharing this is where you can get it connected to third-party apps of Google fit or my fitness pal those are two that are supported um, heart rate limits you can set this it calculates what your limits should be based on your age and everything that you put in there but you can change your maximum and minimum and so it's tracking that too so if you want to exercise and be within a specific zone fat burning or whatever you've got that with this band really nice and it's bright outdoors I'm very impressed with this thing it's a good band um, clear cash other kind of stuff so that's pretty much it for the app you've seen pretty much everything on the band itself it's thin lightweight oh this is fun look at that I didn't know that you can touch the screen and change it to contour your outfit for the day Wow very cool okay I'm gonna come over here to uh, heart rate and I'm gonna just show you when we activate this it's doing its green diode thing in the background and when I come into my blood oxygen and you see the red diodes in there with the green that's because it's going to give you both heart rate I believe and uh, okay I'm measuring I'm, I'm holding it on here just to activate it there you can see both red and green are working it's a true Christmas color band and <laughs> it'll give you your blood oxygen that way so it is incorporating the more advanced red diodes along with the green ones for uh, the heart rate your activity records that's the step count stuff and all of that other things we saw in here oh breathing exercises I didn't cover this or stress okay we're in another area sorry folks here's your stress chart that we just looked at I don't think I can take a reading but it's showing you throughout the day where your levels are in case you are getting overly stressed out and you can probably keep uh, keep tabs on it 24 hours and then it starts over again historical records are in the app right then uh, oh sleep time yeah 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 you got your breakdown in here 
So all of that's also on naps even. It tracks your naps. All that's in the band as well as in the app. So you really don't need the app, I guess, for a lot of it if you just want to look at it. Here's the breathing exercises. You can moderate it. You can change it. Uh, either fast, slow, you know, if you've been working out really hard, you don't want to be in one of those zen kind of breaths, you're not going to be able to do it. So nice, you can change the overall rhythm, you tap it, keep still, which is impossible for Mr. Tix when he's doing reviews. If I could, I would say, <gasps> inhale, and then <sighs> exhale, and that's moderate. And of course, it's not on my arm, so it's bailing out because it wants to monitor my heart rate while it's doing that to check out how well I am actually relaxing. Nice. Music, notifications, weather, the Alipay. we got a stopwatch and timer in here. Nice. Alarms. And there's your flashlight. Big, white, bright, outdoors, see your keys kind of thing. Find your phone. We heard that. And overall settings, which we've already been into. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> really good band. And it's available from We Buying, W I I Buying. Um, check the show notes for the buying link. It's a decent device. It's definitely, hey, we're up to number six already, constantly improving. So I recommend this one. I really like it. I think it's great. It may not cover the languages in your country if it's not Chinese or English. So check on that. Uh, this is the Chinese version, uh, but it is available if you, uh, you're interested in getting it uh, with the English uh capability when you tether it to your phone it auto switches to it that's it gang thanks for watching we'll see you again soon okay i remember i remember i promised you guys we were going to see what five minutes will do for power on this thing let's get in here to the timer we're going to do a five minute timed charge and go all right it's going and we connect the charger it's at 25%, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Well, four more minutes. Yikes! <laughs> I am not good at science where you have to time things. Sorry, guys. Uh, 20 minutes have passed. Okay, in 20 minutes, it charged from 25 to 78, so that's roughly 50% in 20 minutes. Okay, divide that down to 5, 10, 15, 20, and 50% 50 divided by 4. Anyway, that's roughly how much charge you would get in 5 minutes. Obviously, we only need to go a little over a half hour, definitely less than an hour to charge it full up. So, uh, yeah, great band, long life, and Mr. Tix doesn't manage time well. See you later.